When we talk about something that's modular, usually we mean that it's in a couple components. Mm -hmm. And those are kind of standardized components that could, could be assembled. Where we kind of vary from indexable drills is that when we get into indexable drills, we're talking about typically a steel body mm -hmm. and inserts that can be indexed or rotated to new cutting edges. So right. typically we have a, a certain number of cutting edges that can be continuously used there. Uh, with our modular tools, we'll have a solid carbide head, and um, you know that's that's full contact all the way across. Steel body can be assembled. Well, I think it's a good point. You said full contact all the way across, and you know when I think about modular drill, it's it's kind of like an index because it's got a replaceable carbide insert, if you will, but mm -hmm. it's full contact all the way across, which means it's um, there's no break in the carbide on the drill point. Okay, where an indexable drill will have as you already stated, inserts that were that you can replace and not actually index, which you can't index this one on a modular drill, but you index on a, an indexable drill, but it's usually not carbide going all the way across. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it's not always two edges effective. So you may have a, a two fluted indexable drill, but when you start calculating your speeds and feeds, or especially your feeds, you need to calculate your feed on the effect of cutting edges. So um, where a modular drill is going to give you two effective cutting edges, just like a typical two-fluid drill, yeah. where an indexable would be a lot of times just one, one cutting edge.